it's a great privilege to enter into his presence. Hallelujah. And anytime you get the opportunity to stand on the platform of fasting, it means something will happen in the realms of the spirit. Hallelujah. And I believe strongly within me that in this 14 days fasting and prayers, God will do a new thing in our lives. Amen. Your amen is weak. Amen. I believe God will do a new thing in our lives. Amen. You see, 2023 is a journey. 2023 is a journey. <laughs> and beloved, how you start your journey will determine how you end it. How you do what? How you start it will determine how you will end it. If you start your journey well, you will end it well. Amen. But if you don't start it well, you will not end it well. But beloved, as you are starting your year or your journey with fasting and prayers, by December 31st, you will count your blessings and name them one by one. Amen. Your amen is weak, somebody. Amen. I said by December 31st, your level will change. By de December 31st, you will count your blessings and name them one by one. Hey, listen, when you journey with God, you will see a bright future. Amen. Should I say it again? I said when you do what? When you journey with God, you will see a bright future. You will see a bright future when you journey with God. I'm telling you. The Bible says that Enoch walk with God. In other words, the man journeyed with God. Enoch walked with God. <laughs> Zachariah walked with God. The man journeyed with God. When you journey with God, beloved, your life will never be the same. Amen. Journey with God means God is with you. Yes. I said God is what? With you. He's with you. And the Bible says, if God be for us, who can be against us? If God is with you, if God is genuine with you or you are genuine with God, beloved, I am telling you, demons will bow before you, principalities will bow before you, witches will bow before you, unclean spirits will bow before you when you are genuine with God. And this year, as you are genuine with God or as you are, as, as you are starting with fasting and prayers, beloved, you will attract God, you will attract his power. And beloved, this year, no witch, no wizard can fight against you. Your amen is weak, somebody. Amen. I say your amen is weak. Amen. And this year, listen to me, beloved. God will grant you all your, your desires. Amen. He will grant you all your heart desires. Amen. What you couldn't accomplish last year, 2022. This year, 2023. Beloved, on this platform of fasting and prayers, I declare that in the name of Jesus, you will accomplish that thing. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, receive grace to accomplish it. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, I say receive grace to accomplish it. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. you will accomplish great things this year. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, I'm not here to preach, but I'm here to pray with you. I'll begin my message about divine encounter, God willing, tomorrow. And tomorrow's service will be a night of prophetic. A night of what? A night of prophetic. This year is our year of divine encounter. It's our year of divine encounter. God willing, tomorrow I will start my message about divine encounter. How to encounter God. Or how to experience divine encounter. And the benefit of divine encounter. The benefit of divine encounter. Now, when we talk about divine encounter, what is the meaning of the statement divine encounter? Divine encounter is the meeting of humanity with divinity. That is divine encounter. Divine encounter simply means the meeting of humanity with divinity. Divine encounter is when you meet God or his agent. That is divine encounter. It's when you meet God or his agent. And beloved, listen to me. When you have an encounter with God or his agent, your level will change. Amen. Your level will change. When you have an encounter with the angel of God or with God, your level will change. When you study the Bible very well, you see that the Bible said that Moses fasted 40 days and 40 nights. 
The man fasted 40 days and 40 nights. And the Bible says that the man had an encounter with God on Mount Sinai. He had an encounter with God on Mount Sinai. And listen to me, beloved. The encounter that Moses had with God, Matusiatai, brought empowerment. It brought what? It brought empowerment. The Bible said that Moses had an encounter with God. He came down. And the Israelites couldn't look at his face. They couldn't look at him. The Israelites couldn't, couldn't look at Moses. Because the Bible said that his face was shining. His face was shining and because of that, the Israelites couldn't look at him. Beloved, when you have an encounter with God, you will shine. When you have an encounter with God, you will bright. Oh, I didn't hear your amen. I said, you do what? You will shine. You will shine when you have an encounter with God. Your light will shine. The Bible said, let your light so shine before men that they will see your good work and do what? Glorify your father which is in heaven. Your light will shine. The Israelite couldn't look at Moses because his Bible said his face was shining. The Bible, when you read the Bible, you say that Moses had to cover his face to talk to the Israelites. He had an encounter with God. And the encounter brought what? Empowerment. It brought empowerment. This year God will empower you. This year you have an encounter with God and your life will never be the same. Those who always speak against you, those who always criticize you, that you are nobody, you are not going anywhere. Beloved, when you have an encounter with God, you will shine. In your business, you will shine. In that family, you will shine. In that institution, you will shine. In that, in, in that institution, you will, you will shine. In that company, you will shine. And beloved, when you shine and they look at you, they will bow down their heads. Are you here with me, somebody? They will bow down their heads. People don't respect you. They always take you for granted. I said they always do what? They take you for granted. You are nobody. They always speak evil. They speak bad things about you. You are not going anywhere. We don't think that you can make it in life. Beloved, this year God will do a new thing in your life. You will have an encounter with God and an encounter will change your life. It will transform your life. I didn't hear your amen somebody. To transform your life. Yes. It will tra- Moses had an encounter. His, his life changed. Yes. His life changed. Had demons he had time. One day the Bible says that there was a woman. This woman was there. Doing her own thing. The Bible says that. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto this woman. This woman is a great woman. The mother of Jesus. This woman was doing her own thing. And the Bible said an angel appeared unto him. Luke chapter 1 verse 20 says, an angel appeared unto him. He had an encounter with the agent of God. Angels are agent of God. I say angels are what? Angels are agent of God. Mary had an encounter with an agent of God. An angel appeared unto Mary. The Bible says that in the, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. Verse 27. <laughs> named Nazareth. A, an angel was sent from God. An angel was... Let's, let's, let me read it again. 26. I love that scripture. I love verse 26. <laughs> ah, and in the sixth month, the angel, the angel Gabriel was sent from God. Today I read something about divine encounter. And the author says something. He said, divine encounter is planned in heaven. Divine encounter is planned in where? It's planned in heaven. This year, heaven will plan your encounter. I didn't hear your amen. I said this year, heaven will plan what? Your encounter. Heaven will plan it. Heaven will plan it. It means Mary's encounter was planned in heaven. Because the Bible says that and in the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent from God. Was sent from God. It was planned in heaven. Was sent from God unto a city of Galilee. A city of Galilee. This year 2023 Makunama Hadusatai. Heaven 
heaven will recognize where you are living. I say heaven will recognize where you are living. If you are in Lashibi, heaven will come down. If you are in Assignment, heaven will come down. If you are in Numbai, heaven will come down. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hey. If you are in Sakomono. Hey. <laughs> if you are in Sakomono. This year, God will send angels from heaven to Sakomono, from heaven to Lashibi, from heaven to Asaiman, from heaven to Nungwa, from heaven to Sprinkles. I didn't hear your amen, somebody. <laughs> because of you, because of you, God will send an angel to come to Lashibi. Because of you, he will send an angel to come to Sakomono. And when you have an encounter with the angel of God, your level will change. It will change. It will change. Please, let's continue. 27. To a virgin exposed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. Mary, the mother of Jesus. 28. Let's continue. And the angel came into, came in unto her and said, Hey, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Verse 29. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. Verse 30. Verse 30. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Found favor with God. Listen to me. Divine encounter brings favor. Amen. Divine encounter brings what? Favor. Divine encounter brings favor. Amen. Divine encounter brings favor. And beloved, in these 14 days, I will talk about the favor of God. Amen. One of the benefits of divine encounter is that you attract favor from above. Attract favor from above. When the angel appeared unto Mary, the first thing the angel said to Mary, you are highly favored. Mary had an encounter with and God told her, you are highly favored. You are highly favored. Hey, hey, this year, you have an encounter with God. And the encounter will bring favor. I say it will bring what? Favor. It will bring favor. It will bring favor. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Favor with God. 31. 31. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and, and, and shalt call his name Jesus. Let's continue. Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of the father of, of his father David 33 and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever and of the uh, and of his kingdom there shall be no end 34 then said unto then said Mary unto the angel how shall this be see i know not a man how can this be how can this be? An angel of the Lord appeared unto her. An angel of the Lord. And beloved, listen to me. When you continue to read the Bible, you see that divine, the encounter that Mary had brought joy to her. The encounter that Mary had brought joy to her. It brought joy. Joy. The encounter brought joy. Verse 46. Verse 40 says, Mary gave a testimony. He said, and Mary said, my soul do magnify the Lord. My soul. Divine encounter brings joy. It brings joy. It brings joy. It brings joy. And Mary said, my soul do magnify the Lord. 20, 47. 47. And my spirit has rejoiced. My spirit. My spirit has rejoiced. After the encounter, Mary said, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. Beloved, after the encounter 2022, 2023, I pray that in the name of the Lord Jesus, the encounter will bring joy. It will bring joy.
joy in your marriage. It will bring joy in that institution. It will bring joy in that company. It will bring joy in that business. I didn't hear your amen, somebody. It means when you have an encounter with God, you will not be sad. When you have an encounter with God, you will not be sad. It will bring joy to you. It will bring joy to you. In all aspects of your life, you have joy. Mary said, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. Verse 48. 48. For he had regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth, all generations, all generations shall call me blessed. It means when you have an encounter with God, beloved, generations will call you blessed. The reason why generations will call you blessed is that, beloved, you will accomplish great things. You will do mighty things. What people think you cannot do, when you have an encounter with God, you begin to do those things. And, beloved, when you do those things, your generation will call you blessed. And generation yet unborn will call you blessed. That will be your story. I said that will be your story. Generations will call you blessed. Generations will call you blessed. Mary was nobody. But after the encounter, Mary gave testimonies. And Mary declared that all generations shall call me blessed. And beloved, listen to me. Mary is dead and gone. Mary is dead and gone. But listen to me. Mary is still the mother of Jesus because he had an encounter with an agent of God. Beloved, listen to me. This year, Makuli Hatos Yatai, you have an encounter with the angel of God. You have an encounter with God. You will meet Jesus. You will meet Jesus. You will meet God. You will meet an agent of God in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, yes. You will meet him. You will meet him. You see? <laughs> the Bible says that there was a man called, in the book of Luke chapter 1, there was a man called Zachariah. Zachariah was a priest. Luke chapter 1 verse 5. The Bible, Zachariah was a priest. The Bible says that both of them were, 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 were righteous in the sight of God. Walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. But the Bible said they had no child. Because Elizabeth was barren. <laughs> they had no child because Elizabeth was barren. Beloved, it, is, it, it was a problem. I say it was, it was what? It was a problem. They had no child. It was a problem. Beloved, you have a problem. But after the encounter, the encounter will solve the problem. I didn't hear your amen, somebody. The encounter will solve the problem. It will solve the problem. It will solve the problem. They had no child because Elizabeth was buried. And the Bible said that both of them were well stricken in years. They were advanced in years. They had, they, 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 it was a problem. But the Bible said that one day, Zachariah was prayed in the temple, burning incense. And the Bible said that the angel of the Lord appeared unto him, standing at the right side of the altar of incense. The Bible said that when, when, when Zachariah saw him, the Bible said he was troubled and fear fell upon him. But the angel said to Zachariah, don't be afraid for your prayer is heard. The angel declared to Zachariah, your wife will conceive and give birth that they will name the child John. He said the Lord about, about John the Baptist. He could have the angel said to Zachariah, He shall be great in the sight of God, and he shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even in his mother's womb. Ah, Zachariah had an encounter with the angel of God. In other words, he had an encounter with an agent of God, and that is divine encounter. Divine encounter. Ha! Ah. Huh. Anytime you, 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 you have an encounter with God, you will hear good news. I say you do what? You will hear good news. When you have an encounter with God, you will hear good news. You will hear good news. You will hear good news. For he shall be great in the sight of God and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost even in his mother's womb. But the Bible says that Zachariah didn't believe what the prophet said. Let's continue. He didn't believe. Verse, 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 verse 16. He didn't believe. And Zacharias said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know this? For I am 
an old man and my wife well stricken in years. He didn't believe that God can do it. Beloved, the last time I said it, age is just a number. Age is just a number. Beloved, don't think that because of your age you cannot marry. Don't think that because of your age you cannot conceive. The Bible says Zachariah and Elizabeth, both of them were well stricken in years. They were advanced in years. But listen to me, when you have a divine encounter, when you have an encounter with God, beloved, Makuli Hatol Shatai, God will take, God will put your age aside and perform unusual miracles in your life. I say you will do what? Unusual miracles. He will put your age aside and perform unusual miracles. They were advancing, yes. But the angel came with a good news that your wife will conceive and give birth. Today, I came with a good news that in the name of Jesus, this year your level will change. This year, your, your life will never be the same. This year, your enemies will not laugh at you. This year, you will do exploits. You will flourish in your business. You will flourish in your marriage. You will flourish in that institution. You will flourish in that company. You will do exploits. You do exploit. So for Zachariah didn't believe what the prophet said. The angel said. <laughs> and the angel said something. Because you didn't believe. Let's continue. <laughs> and the angel answering said unto him. I am Gabriel. That stand in the presence of God. And uh, he said. And I'm saying to speak unto thee. And to see thee this glad tidings. This glad. This glad tidings. Verse 20. Okay, verse yeah, 20. And behold, thou shalt be dumb and not able to speak until the day that these things shall be performed. Because thou, because thou believest not my words, which shall be fulfilled in, in, in their season. <laughs> he didn't believe. But the prophet said, it will still come to pass. Beloved, I know you don't have faith. I know you don't believe that this year will be a year that God will transform your life. But I came today to announce you, as you are standing on this platform, beloved, God will do it. I said, God will do it for you this year. God will do it for you this year. It was a problem. The Bible said they had no child because Elizabeth was barren. Beloved, I know you have a problem. You have a problem. You are jobless. You are jobless. You can't conceive. For so many years you have tried. But the thing is not coming. You can't conceive. It is a problem. You are jobless. It's a problem. <laughs> you want to marry. You have prayed for so many years. What can I show age? You are growing. But beloved, listen to me. In these 14 days divine encounter, God will do a new thing. I said God will do a new thing. After this fifth after this 14 days fasting and prayers beloved in the name of Jesus you receive a telephone call and that telephone call will bring transformation it will change your level in the name of the Lord Jesus someone will receive a telephone call Makuna Mahata Yabosa. Niyebeka Chireni say your appointment letter is ready. Come for your appointment letter. I know God can do it. I know God can do it. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. May God perform unusual miracles in your life. If you believe, let me hear you loud and say, Amen. Listen, God has done it before, and He can do it. He can do it. The last time I said it here, a certain guy completed university. For two years, the guy was jobless. Two years, the guy was jobless. And you see, I was praying with a guy. One day, I was praying with a guy and the Lord ministered to me. God opened my eyes and said, this is what is preventing the guy. This is what is fighting the guy. So I told the guy, God said we should pray against this thing. We started praying. We fasted and prayed. The same month, the guy was there and he received a call that your appointment letter is ready. Yeah. Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. He's about to do it for you. I say he's about to do it for you. He's about to do it. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? <laughs> 
divine encounter brings joy. <laughs> Zachariah had an encounter. And the woman who was buried conceived and gave birth. Beloved, this is divine encounter that makes things possible. It is divine encounter that makes the impossible possible. The impossible possible. Divine encounter. Divine encounter makes the impossible things what? Possible. Divine encounter. That family, eh? They have said a lot. A lot of people know that it is a curse in their family that no one can marry. It is a curse in the family that no one can conceive. Beloved, listen to me. If you know Jesus, curses cannot control your life. Curses cannot have effect on your life. They know that it is a curse in the family. Ask charity. It is a case in a family that firstborns cannot conceive and give birth. Jesus. Am I lying? They can't conceive. It is a case in the family. Firstborn, we a man in our own communion saying, Ah. But this lady had an encounter with an agent of God. Hey. I went to the marriage ceremony. I, they, they, they asked me to pray. I was praying. I was holding microphone praying. And God ministered to me that if you don't pray for her, she cannot conceive. So I fasted three weeks and I prayed. And beloved, by the by the grace of God, to the glory of God, charity has conceived, and now she has given birth to three children. Three children. To the glory of God. Three children. She gave birth to her first son, and the lady had a dream. Do you remember? You told me she had a dream. They asked her a question. I say, a question here then. Don't don't make it. I say, hey, yeah, then I will tell me who, yeah. Because for so many years, firstborns, if you're a lady, a woman, you can't conceive. But the lady had an encounter. The lady had an encounter, and to the glory of God, now she has given birth to three children. Oh, I thought somebody will clap and give God praise. I thought somebody will clap and give God praise. Divine encounter will change your level. Amen. It will change your level. Amen. A lot of people know that it is a curse in the family that men don't prosper in that family. Jesus. Most of the family suffer when you go. You see that the men, eh? you see them going through hardship. You see all the men, they are frustrated. They are not doing anything good in the family. But you see the women flourishing. It is a curse in that family. It is a curse in that family. Some of the families, beloved, when you go here, eh, you will see the ladies, they have given birth, but they are not living with their husbands. They have given birth, but they are not living with their husbands. It is a case. You give birth, but you will not marry, you will not live with a guy. It is a case. To quote Bishop Musa, a man will be showing me now, what will be there? A beer will two, a beer will three, a beer will four. It is a case. But when you have an encounter, the encounter will break that case. Amen. Your amen is weak. Amen. I said the encounter will break that what? That, that case. case in the family. Amen. It will break that case. Amen. Zachariah had an encounter. And his wife, who was a barren, she conceived. And the Bible said that she delivered. She conceived. And the Bible said she delivered. Divine encounter. Divine encounter. It will transform your life. Amen. Divine encounter. The Bible says that one day there was a man called Samuel, Prophet Samuel. Samuel was there and God appeared unto Samuel. He said, Samuel, go to the house of Jesse. Samuel was an agent, an agent of God. Samuel was an agent of God. He was a prophet. God appeared unto him. He said, go to the house of Jesse. For I have appointed a new king in his house. A new king. A new king. David was doing her own thing in the bush. Doing her own thing in the bush. His own thing in the bush. But the Bible says that when the prophet went to the house of Jesse, he said, 
O ma keni na ni ana. O si akaba kwa wo hwe nyan. O si fri no no mra. We will not sit down until say wa ba. The man when David Bible said when the David came, the Bible said that and God spoke to I'm um, Samuel, this is the one. This is the one. He said, take your horn and anoint him. The Bible said that and Samuel anointed David. And the Bible said when he poured the oil on David, the Bible says that and the spirit of God came upon David. Beloved, listen to me. After divine encounter, you will receive the Holy Ghost. And when the Holy Ghost come upon you, the impossible things will become possible. It will become possible. Samuel was an agent of God. God sent him. Go to the house of Jesse. Listen to me. God will send a prophet to you this year. Amen. I said this year, God will send a prophet to you. Amen. Oh, I didn't hear your amen. amen. I didn't hear your amen. amen. I said this year, God will send a prophet to you. And the prophet will come with the good news. And the prophet will come with a word from above. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. The prophet will come with a word. Don't forget the definition of divine encounter. Divine encounter is is what? It is the meeting of humanity with divinity. Or meeting God or his agent. The Bible said that one day King Hezekiah was there and God sent a prophet to him. Now go and tell him that his, 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 his time is up to die. He should put his, his house in order because he will die. The prophet came and delivered the message. He was going on his way going. The Bible said, King Ezekiel knelt before God. He cried. And the Bible said, when the prophet was going, God told him, go back and tell him, I've added 15 good years. Hey. 15, listen, this year God will send a prophet to you. Amen. I said, God will send a prophet to you this year. Amen. Your amen is too weak. I said God will send a prophet to you this, this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus. He will send a prophet. God sent a prophet to the people of Israel. The children of Israel was going through hardship. They were under the control of the Egyptians. They were crying. But the Bible says that. And Moses. Moses. God appeared unto him. And he said go to Pharaoh. And tell Pharaoh, let my people go that they will serve me. He sent a prophet to the children of Israel. And God used Moses as an agent to deliver the children of Israel from the hands of the Egyptians. Listen to me, whatever you are going through, this year God will send his angel to you. I say he will send his angel to you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. He will send his angel to you. And the angel will come with a prophetic word. He will come with a word from above. He will come with a word. He will come with a word from above. And beloved, let me tell you one thing. You can sleep and have an encounter with an agent of God. You can sleep and see a prophet of God, a genuine prophet of God. And the genuine prophet of God will tell you, do this, do this, do this, do that, do that. You, beloved, when you obey it, I'm telling you, your life will, your life will change. Amen. Your life will change. Amen. Your life will change. Someone saw me in her dream. <laughs> and the Lord used me to minister to the lady in her dream that your appointment letter is ready. Go for it. Your appointment letter is ready. Go, go for it. An agent of God. An agent of God. An agent of God. He said, I told her in her dream, your appointment letter is ready. Go for it. She woke up and said, ah, thank you, Jesus. My time is up. Two, two months later, the lady was there and she, she, she received a call that please come to this company. Your appointment letter is ready. My God. And as I'm talking to you, now, this lady is working. Amen. This lady is working. Amen. To the glory of God. Amen. To the glory of God. Amen. She's working. Beloved, you need an agent. You need to have an encounter with an agent of God. You need to have an, you need to have an encounter with God. Your level will change. In the Bible, a lot of people had an encounter with God. Their level changed. Their level changed. A lot of people. 
a lot of people, the generals in the Bible, beloved, they had an encounter with God and their level changed. I pray for you today that in the name of Jesus, as this year is our year of divine encounter, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, I pray that you have an encounter with God. You have an encounter with an agent of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Clap for Jesus, amen. This afternoon, this afternoon, I slept and I had a dream. In the dream, God revealed something to me. And, beloved, when I woke up, I was very happy within me. I said, thank you, Jesus. This is divine encounter. Amen. I had an encounter with God, with an agent of God in my dream to this afternoon. This afternoon, I had an encounter. I had an encounter with an agent of God. And that is divine encounter. Amen. I woke up and I heard the voice of God. He will help you. He will help you. I, met, I saw a great man of God in my dream this afternoon. Jesus. And the man told me so many things. When I woke up, I heard the voice of God. He will help you. Okay. So, so when I woke up, I, I, I wrote something. I wrote something in my book that not everyone is destined to help you. Okay. Not everyone is destined to help you. And tomorrow, God willing, I will preach about this. Not everyone is destined to help you. Not everyone. Not everyone is destined to help you. You can be around great men for years. You won't see anything. But when you have an encounter with God, beloved, the encounter will connect you. And those people, within a year, God can use them to transform your life. Amen. I didn't hear your amen. Amen. Oh, yes. I wrote it. Not everyone is destined to help you. Not everyone. You can meet your destiny helper and your level will change. This year, I pray for everyone in this church oh, that in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, yes, everyone in this church will have an encounter with God. Yes. Everyone in this church will have an encounter with the agent of God. Yes. In the name of the Lord Jesus Somebody put your ten fingers together for Jesus. Or do it better for Jesus. Now, we are coming to pray. We are coming to pray. And I want you to take this prayer to